Okay, welcome to Industrial and Organizational Psychology class. So ngayon pag-uusapan naman natin ang uh, isa pang theory of motivation pagdating sa organization. Okay? So yung expectancy theory of motivation ni Victor Vroom ay isa sa mga theory of motivation na least, no? pinaka least understood in the field of motivation. Hindi katulad nila, hindi katulad ng theory ni Maslow, the hierarchy of needs, the ERG theory, and the two-factor theory. So, yung expectancy theory, medyo uh, least understood siya kasi in-express ni Victor Vroom ang kanyang theory in a mathematical term. So, ngayon, pag narinig natin, no, yung salitang math, talagang medyo nagbabak off tayo. Alam natin yan, tanggapin natin yan. No? Hindi lahat sa atin ay gusto yung math. So, siguro, uh, dahil doon, hindi masyadong napapansin sa expectancy. Theory, at mukha siyang komplikado. No? Pero, kailangang maunawaan natin, what is expectancy theory? No? Mukha siyang komplikado, pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-komplikado. So, titignan natin yan. So, there are key components. Pag sinabi natin expectancy theory, there are three key components. This is the expectancy, instrumentality, and the valence. So, ano-ano ba itong mga to? So, first one is the expectancy. The expectancy is a person's subjective estimate of the probability that a given level of performance will occur. Okay. So, this is also the belief that the increased in effort will lead to increased performance. So, sabi rito, pagka nag-try ako, nagdagdag ako ng effort, madadagdagan ang aking performance. So, the harder I try, the better I expect my performance to be. Okay. So, syempre, kailangan dito yung Paano tayo makakagawa? Paano natin matatry? Paano natin paano tayo makakapag-increase ng performance? So kailangan natin dito yung, yung mga resources, organizational resources, skills and support. So pagdating sa instrumentality, this is the individual's estimate of the, of the probability that the performance will lead to certain outcomes. Okay? It is refers to the person's subjective evaluation of the chances that the good performance will lead to certain outcomes or reward. Kung kanina sa expectancy theory, increase in effort will lead to increased performance. So pagdating naman dito sa instrumentality, sinasabi lang dito na Siyempre, pag nag-increase ang performance, we are expecting something rewarding. Okay? So, pag nag-increase ang performance, meron tayong tinitingnan na reward. And this is the instrumentality. Ano yung reward na yon? Okay. Yung reward na yon, uh, depende. That's why it is um, subjective. No? So, Pagdating dito sa instrumentality, napakahalaga na pag-usapan yung trust ng employee to the organization and syempre, yung truthfulness ng organization naman dun sa empleyado. Kasi, uh, sino ba magbibigay ng reward? No? Yung reward na ibibigay na yan ay galing sa, sa organization. So, paano mo makukuha yung reward? Because of your expectancy. This is the uh, effort mo and yung, yung effort mo, kaya mo siya nakuha. Okay? So, dapat may ma malakas ang usapin ng trust at saka truthfulness pagdating dito sa instrumentality. Okay? Yung pangatlo ay valence. So, ano mo naman to? This is refers to the value of a person's places on the particular outcome. It is the perceived value of the actual reward for the employee. Meaning, 
the reward becomes significant if it is valuable to the person or insignificant if the reward has no value to a person. So the question is, is the reward desirable or not? Pinag-usapan natin kanina sa instrumentality, there is a reward. So ito yung tinitingnan ngayon. That is the instrument. Why people, why the employee put some effort to increase their performance to get the instrumentality, which is the reward. So the question is, yung reward ba na to ay may value para doon sa nagtatrabaho? Kasi kung merong value, meaning, yung effort na ginawa ni, ni employee ay magiging rewarding. Okay? Yung motivation niya, mas gaganda. Pero, kung yung binigay mong reward ay hindi desirable para dun sa empleyado, so most likely, uh, magiging unmotivated na siya in the future. Okay? So, ang sinasabi lang, this is the idea of the expectancy theory, that the strong effort will lead to good performance, and good performance will lead to preferred outcomes. Yun ang sinasabi natin. A strong effort, this expectancy, will lead to good performance. And then, the performance, good performance, will lead to preferred outcomes, which is the instrumentality, the reward. So the question again is, what is the value of that reward to the individuals? So this is the formula na ginamit ni, ni, ni Vroom no? para explain ang kanyang expectancy theory. So yan, nakikita natin, mathematical. So, so sabi niya, uh, the motivation is actually the result of uh, deliberate choices to engage in activities in order to achieve worthwhile outcomes. So, motivation is equal to expectancy multiplied by instrumentality multiplied by the valence. So, ang sinasabi lang naman dito, the expectancy is the, the people's or the employee's effort. No? Uh, put some effort, I try harder, that will lead to a good performance. Siyempre, ang good performance ay nag expect ng reward. And the reward is our instrumentality. And this reward, the question is, the reward, is it desirable or not? What is the value of that reward? Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple si sa expectancy theory. No? Mukha, siyang, mukha siyang komplikado kasi nga dito sa mathematical equation. Pero, kung titignan mo natin, this is only the concept of expectation. Okay? Ano bang ina-expect mong makuha? May value ba sa'yo yung gusto mong makuha? Ganun lang yon. So, gagawin mo to because of uh, something. Okay? So, gagawin mo pa ba kung yung something na to, yung reward, ay wala namang value? So, syempre, hindi. So, this actually, uh, the simplest term I can uh, give to you to explain the expectancy theory. Okay? That's, po, yan, po pwede rin natin uh, tignan as a chain, no? Connected chain ang expectancy theory. Ibig sabihin, lahat kasing yon the, the components of expectancy theory is connected to each other. So, the, the effort, syempre, kailangan mo may, may effort to uh, to increase your performance and then, because of your good performance, merong reward kang matatanggap. Okay? And this reward should be valuable. Pero, kung yung isang chain dito ay broken or uh, hindi maganda, most likely, yung motivation ng isang empleyado ay hindi uh, magtutuloy-tuloy. Like for example, uh, si empleyado, gumawa siya ng effort, 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 so nag-increase ang kanyang performance so, pinag-usapan natin sa instrumentality, no? Uh, that is the reward. So, gin ginagawa ni empleyado yung expectancy niya. Yung effort to lead to a good performance. Because, 
uh, this employee is eyeing, no? targeting that particular reward. Pero, tinigting na natin, broken pala yung chain na yon. That is the, the, the instrumentality. Di ba sinabi natin kanina, that instrumentality, uh, dapat siya matiba yung trust and truthfulness ng, ng company. Okay. So, sasabihin natin na, Sige, pag ginawa natin to, pag ginawa nyo to, at na, nakuha natin niya, na target, nakuha natin ang target, o kaya man, nagawa mo yung project na to, so, this is your reward. So, dapat, company is uh, uh, true to that promise. No? So, kung iyan ay magiging broken, next time, hindi na yan uh, mag-i-engage sa mga activities. No? So, dapat, uh, dire-direcho. O kaya man, Sige, may, may, may reward. Tapos yung broken pala doon, yung value, yung valence. Uh, kahit magtrabaho ka ng magtrabaho, or uh, ipinakita ni company, for example, yung reward. Okay, so uh, sasabihin natin, uh, ang reward ay bibigyan ka ng uh, two days paid uh, Uh, leave. Ayan. To this paid leave. So again, this is a subjective evaluation. The the instrumentality. So, depende to sa person if it's desirable or not. So, yung two, two days paid leave, po pwede siyang desirable doon sa isang tao, pero hindi naman siya desirable doon sa isa. So, worth it ba ang gagawin mong effort para doon sa two days paid leave. Okay? So, i- ito yung uh, dapat tingnan pagdating sa uh, valence. So, so, that's it. That is the expectancy theory by Victor Broome.